<clears throat> hey guys, the RG Vano here. As you can see, I have some more custom RK Vano figures. This time we're gonna be looking at metallic Fredbear plush, a metallic golden Freddle, uh, toy helpy, fourth closet toy Freddy, and toy lefty. So let's take a look at metallic Fredbear. He was, honestly, out of all these, these were like last decision, especially the metallic versions. If you guys don't know, I don't like painting with metallic paints anymore, at least not that much. But for the, especially this one, I kind of wanted to do it because I really like how it came out overall. Of course, with metallic paint, it took a while to apply the coats. It's a very difficult to paint with, at least for me. Even if it's the same color of the figure. The only thing that's not metallic is the eyes, the pupils, and the buttons that it says really been playing. But I like how it looks. Next one we have is the metallic golden freddle. This is just like Nightmare Golden Freddy. Or Golden Freddle, either one. This was pretty difficult because I had to get around the endoskeleton, the exposed endoskeleton. Again, the only thing that's not metallic is the hats, the eyes, the pupils, and the, end the bow tie, and the endoskeleton. I was debating on painting it, but that would have been much of a hassle, honestly. It would have took a lot more time. And plus, I don't have the color, the correct color for the metallic paint. It would have been dull. Like, literally, if I have gunmetal gray, the metallic paint, it would have looked pretty dull, honestly. It wouldn't look shiny. At least to me. Next, we have this toy helpy to go with, you know, the Rockstar helpy I made. Um, he was not that difficult. There are some paint smearing right here, but I can repaint that, honestly. Um, I was debating on painting this, because if you guys know Helpy, he has his palm painted, but I decided to leave it like that. Maybe I did that with a Rockstar Ash figure, custom Ash figure. It's been a while, honestly. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I may or may not go back and do that. But the reason why I did that is because, well, as you can see, I had to, if I was going to paint that, I might as well paint this one to match. And I can't take this off. I've already tried in the past to take these out by boiling them, putting them in hot water and boiling them. It does not come off without one solid piece. Next one we have is Fourth Closet Toy Freddy. I really like this one, honestly. It's pretty good. Uh, one of the most difficult part was the eyes, you can see, the pupils, but I like how they look overall. Far away, they look pretty good. And last but certainly not least, we have this toy lefty. Again, to match the Rockstar lefty I made. Well, not the Rockstar lefty. The Well, actually, I don't really have the lefty action figure, honestly. I haven't gotten it yet, because that's pretty hard to find, honestly. But I do like how he looks overall. Um, for the eye, I was debating on going with the light of uh, darker orange, but I decided to go with tropical orange, or tropic orange, because that's the lightest orange I have. And the buttons, I was only going to paint one, but I decided to paint both of them, because why not? I do like how it looks overall. And now I'm going to show you the paints that I use for these, for the metallic uh, Fredbear Plus. I just used only two, which is uh, metallic Inca Gold, which is the one with the Chaos Terminal on top. And also metallic Amethyst, again with the Chaos Terminal on top. And of course with the metallic Golden Freddle, I just use the same thing, just Inca Gold. And for... Toy Helpy, I just used the Force White for the whole body. Lilic Mist for the muzzle, the eyes, the ears, the feet, the feet, and the stomach. I use Cranberry for the cheeks. If you don't have Cranberry, I re recommend using Honey Supple Pink. Just to kind of match it, get close enough, honestly. And of course, I used Yellow for the button. And for fourth closet toy Freddy, again I used white, pewter gray 
for the muzzle and ears, the stomach. It's hard to tell, but I did use pavement for the cheeks instead of just using black. And the only, and of course I did use black for the eyes to black them out. I also used white for the pupils as well. And of course I used bright red, bright, bright red with the outer eyes, you know what? And for Tory Lefty, I just used again, well, I used pavement for the whole body. I was gonna use black, but looking at Lefty, he's not really that. He's not really colored black. It's more of a light black, if you ask me. Like, not gray, but not black. It's in between, like pavement, at least, to me. I used bright red for the top hat, the cheeks, uh, also the eyelids, as you can see. Uh, this. The eyelids, as you can see right there. And the bow tie. I used garnet gray for the muzzle, the eye, the eye, well, outside the eyes, the inner ears, and the stomach. I used yellow for the buttons, both of them that is, and for his right eye, I used well tropic orange, as I said. So I'm gonna get out all the other custom arcade vinyl figures and show you guys. So guys, here's and here's every single one, guys, that I've painted so far. If they decide to make more, I obviously will be buying them. It's just a matter of time, or well, if and when, honestly, you know. But I am happy with the character, the select choices I made overall. So that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Bye.